I opened this from the wrong side. <sighs> Hi everybody, it's Sassy Array. So today we're doing an international um, like snacks and candy and like soda taste test. So I have like snacks and drinks and stuff from a bunch of different countries. I think it's Germany, Mexico, Japan, Jamaica, and England. Um, some of this stuff I actually picked up at an international market in Georgia called Buf Buford International Market and it's in Doraville and then some of this stuff I just went to Walmart for. So I'm gonna do all the drinks last so they don't like get flat as I film the video but I'm gonna start with the thing I'm most excited about which are these little candies and I'm not really sure what the name is. I believe the name is Peloneta del Puesto. Um, sorry for all of the butchering of the names of these products, I'm sorry. Um, but these have powder and like, I believe some type of hard candy inside. Hey everyone, so I mispronounced a couple of things in the video. So I just wanna get it straight. One of the sodas is Jaritos and then one of the candies I was saying lychee, but it is lychee. So now that that's cleared up, I think we can move on. It says watermelon flavored hard candy lollipop. And then with chili powder. It says sugar, corn syrup, salt, citric acid, chili powder. It looks like a cute little watermelon. And I'm guessing you just do it like a, what was those things called? Was it baby bottle pops? I think this is the Mexican version of the baby bottle pop, so. It's not that spicy. It's like a little bit spicy, but it's not crazy. It's definitely salty. It's like a salty, spicy, savory powder. I think there's something sour in there too, which is probably the citric acid. And then this is like a classic watermelon hard candy like exactly what every watermelon hard candy tastes like which is why i bought it it was between this and mango but i love watermelon hard candy in america we don't have savory spicy candy so that's really interesting these are actually bomb that was a good first thing to start with so that's actually really good and there's a ton of them they come in these tiny little things so they're transportable wow these are genius. Shout out to Mexico. So you can save it. That is such a good idea. So yeah, these are super good. So I like these. And then next, I'm going to try these gummies. They're already open, but I opened them for the thumbnail. But these are Kusage gummies. So it's a fruit candy gummy. And I thought these were going to be like marshmallow gummies. I don't know why, but... There's li lychee or lychee, I'm not sure how to pronounce that one. Mango and then strawberry. They're gluten free, that's good. Um, yeah, and so these are from Japan. I got these at the Buford market, but so you have lychee or lychee. I say lychee, but I'm not, I don't know. And then strawberry and mango. So I'm gonna try all three of these. I'm gonna go with mango first because I love mango. But I'm always disappointed by mango flavored products. So they're kind of just bouncy. Ooh, ooh. The end flavor tastes a lot like mango. Like at first it's like very fresh and like a little bit mango-y. But as you finish it, it's like literally what a mango tastes like. And I feel like artificial mango flavors don't really do that. They don't really taste like mango at all. But that actually tastes so much like mango. So I'm gonna do lychee next. The lychee and the strawberry ones look very similar. So lychee. So this one is a clear version, but it's like the same, same idea. Soft, gummy candy. I don't really eat lychee, so I'm not really sure if that's what lychee tastes like, I assume. But that's also very good, it's like lightly sweet. Like these aren't, these are pretty sweet, but they're not, they're not so, so super sweet. And the next is strawberry. Hmm, that's a weird strawberry flavor because it doesn't really taste like 
real strawberry because real strawberry I feel like is hard to capture in a candy. I don't know if I've ever had artificial strawberry gummy, so I don't really know. But they're all very good. They're all super good, actually. I'll do these. These I got from Walmart. They're called Knoppers. Seems really just that's too hard to open. I feel like I'm gonna. I feel like I'm gonna crush it. Like the way to open this is not very easy. So these are um, like a German snack. I wouldn't call it a candy, really, in my opinion. But it's a snack, and it says it's a milk hazelnut wafer. That's the description we get. I don't know, there's really no other description. Okay, so there's chocolate, there's milk? Do I need milk with this? I think I need milk. I, the, the package implies you wanna eat this with milk, like an Oreo. But it looks like there's chocolate and then a white, like maybe white chocolate or like a milk thing. And then it looks like chocolate um, like basically Nutella and then a wafer. Okay, I'm gonna get milk. I have milk. Um, so I'm gonna try it without milk first. It's exactly what you think it would be in the best way. Like it's good. It delivers hazelnut, milk chocolate, and wafer. That is what it delivers. Dipping it in milk. It's definitely the best. I'm curious about what the white layer is. I think it's milk. I think it's some type of powdered solid milk. I'm not really sure. That was super good. I love hazelnut. So that was like right up my alley. I you buy these out. I got this at Walmart. Go get these. These are so good. And they're really crispy, as it says. Crispy. Or as Joshua <laughs> Weissman say, crispy. So these are really good. I like these a lot. I would recommend these just to have as a snack. Like I love hazelnut and chocolate and wafer. So there was nothing about that that I was not gonna like. There's nothing about any of these that I don't think I'm gonna like. So next is Toffee Fay. This is also German. These are kind of teetering on international for me just because they're pretty popular in the US. I've never tried these before though, obviously, because this is a taste test, but I've always wanted to. Ooh, they look so cute. They're so fancy looking. Wow. Let's see. This is like a good gift to give to somebody. They're packaged very nicely. Wow. Like Ferrero Rochers. I love Ferrero. Ferrero Rochers. Those are like my favorite chocolate. So these are, Ooh. They're a little bit melted just because walking from outside of Walmart to my car is too hot in Florida heat. But they, okay, so they come in these little bowls. It says we spin chewy caramel into a little cup. What is the cup made out of though? What's the cup made out of? I'm, I'm, it doesn't say so we spin chewy caramel into a cup and drop a whole hazelnut cover it with chocolate hazelnut filling and top it with a drop of chocolate again nothing that i would dislike i'm actually going to eat a second one um this cadbury dairy milk so and i got the carmelo flavor because i love caramel caramel i don't even know what i'm saying anymore caramel caramel that's how i say it but it says it's distributed by hershey but it's under license from the uk um what is it cadbury uk so ooh, this one i got at walmart and i'm really oh some of the some of the caramel has leaked out, probably because of my not great handling of it. But this seems really good. Ooh. So I'm gonna take a guess and say it's milk chocolate filled with creamy caramel. Now what makes it creamy? That's, is caramel not creamy as it is? Did they add milk to it? What did they do? Somehow this chocolate tastes different 
from other chocolate I've had in my life. I don't know why. That's really weird. I, I mean, it tastes like it's chocolate. It's milk chocolate. But it does have a slightly different taste than the chocolate I've had before. And the caramel, the caramel is pretty basic. This is a pretty basic thing. I don't think I would go to the store to buy it again, but I'm glad I tasted it. So the last thing before the sodas is I'm pretty excited about these. I'm sorry for this ugly, I'm gonna do that. There's something wrong with the desk that I don't understand, but these are Florentinas and they're like these little cookies. There's pecans in them. Not sure where. I opened this from the wrong side. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, you get three cookies in a pack. That's pretty nice. But they are uh, made in Mexico. And it looks like they're drinking, um, eating them with coffee, but I don't like coffee. So I'm just gonna use milk again. But they're strawberry filled and there's pecans in them somewhere. I don't know. Wait, no, you get six. You get six cookies, holy crap. You get six cookies in a pack. That is a lot. But the serving size is two cookies. Why would you put six cookies in a pack if the serving size is two? I don't understand, but it's fine. I believe the pecan is in the cookie and then it just has like a strawberry filling. So it's like two cookies sandwiched with strawberry filling in the middle. It's very good. That's a lot of cookies though in a pack. Okay, we've pretty much knocked out the majority of the things. So the last three things I'm pretty excited about. So I've had burritos before, but I've never had the Jamaica flavor. And I know Jamaica is hibiscus flour and sugar basically, and it's a drink in Mexico. This is a Mexican soda. This is Japanese, right? It says it's distributed by Long Island, New York. Okay, product of Japan. And I think everyone knows what this is. I've never had one despite the popularity of these and it's Ramune. Um, I got the kiwi flavor. I thought I was like, I've never had a kiwi soda. And then this I'm really excited about, and it's a Jamaican ginger beer. Um, I love ginger drinks, like ginger soda and stuff, so I'm really excited about that. So I'll try the... I'll try the Jamaica. It smells weird, and I don't know why. I don't know why it smells like vinegar, but that's the that's the smell that I'm picking up and I'm thinking this is either bad or it tastes fine. It doesn't really taste like anything that I can put my um, mind on. Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick update on the Jamaica Haritos um, soda review. I don't think I gave it a super fair review, but one, it did smell like vinegar. No idea why. If anyone drinks this soda often, uh, let me know if this is normal or if I got a bad bottle. And then two, um, I've only had Jamaica a couple of times in my life, so I'm not a great judge of what it's supposed to taste like. But for me, I feel like it's half floral, half fruity, and lightly sweet. Um, and I feel like with this soda, I didn't really get any floral notes. Um, I don't know. It was mostly just a really, it was a sweet, fruity, um, refreshing soda. And I really didn't get any floral. So that's it. And I don't know. I felt like I was being mean to the soda. And I was like, it's not a bad soda. Just not what I was expecting. So yeah, that's the review. Next, I'm going to try the ginger beer, which I'm really excited about. Okay. Ooh, that is ginger. That oh, it's like real ginger. Like, it's strong ginger. Oh yeah, it's good. Like, 
that is like fresh they must put fresh ginger like real ginger because most ginger ales like it's not a really strong ginger taste but this is this is it's about to rain i hear the thunder but that's kind of spicy too like how ginger is spicy not like chili spicy but ginger like fresh good ginger has spice to it and like ginger candies usually do this is good and i'm gonna be buying more of this for sure it was like 98 cents so this is actually wonderful yes this is so good this is okay i'm really glad i tried this that's the point of taste test right is to find something interesting it burns the back of your throat but that's the whole point is to find something interesting that you want to continue to buy mm. that's really good that is really good okay last thing is ramune which i'm a little scared about the ball part so okay yeah so i can do that so you just push the ball down and again it's kiwi flavored and, but yeah it has like i think everyone knows it has a glass ball Cam! also an experience so I respect it but yeah it says parental supervision is advised for small children um, I just had my brother open it because he loves these drinks but I'm not really sure the point of the ball but it's fun it's fun it gives experience I think a lot of Japanese snacks and candies are like that I heard they were very carbonated. I don't think so. Um, I don't think this is really that carbonated. I would say it's quite flat, honestly. That's very fun. <laughs> That's fun, though. It tastes, um, it tastes like kiwi. It's like, it tastes like somewhere between an artificial and a real kiwi. I like it. Um, there's not a lot of soda in here, though. How many ounces? There's only 6.76 fluid ounces in this bottle, which is low key upsetting. That's not even eight ounces. I like all the flavors they have. They have like more interesting ones and kiwi, it's good. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we finished all the snacks. We have the Florentinas, these delicious, pecan strawberry cookies, the ginger beer, the Jamaica Haritos. I'm gonna go, so the thing that I would most likely eat often is toffee pay. And I feel like that's such a basic choice, but they're so good. Cause they're basic, they're not even really international cause it's pretty popular over here, but they did start in Germany, like it's originally a German brand. Um, but these are so good. These are so good. But the most interesting thing that I was most surprised by that are actually really delicious are these little Mexican candies, the Pelonita um, Del Puesto and the strawberry, the, the watermelon hard candy lollipop with the chili powder, um, powder on the bottom. These are so good and they're cute. Like they're so, so yeah. Uh, this is the end of the video. I don't really know how to end this except go try some different foods. Trying different foods is always a fun idea. This is the video. Uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you soon whenever I decide to post my next video basically. So, bye.